All right, today's a really exciting day. We got a brand new laser in the shop. It's a Creality 22 watt laser called the Falcon 2. So let's get started. So as soon as I opened up the box, I already got excited because for the most part, it's already put together. A lot of other lasers that are kind of the style you're gonna to have to put together, the frame system. So what is pleasant surprise to see that it was already put together for me. All right, the few things I did have to do is attach the four feet, which just screw onto each corner. Also had to install the laser head module itself. Just kind of slides in place. There's a couple of uh, set screws here with knobs. Also install the air assist, which is as simple as could be. Basically, you're just hooking up a hose to the actual air assist and you uh, attach the other hose to the laser module as well. Now let's go over a few of the items that really set this laser apart from some of its other competitors. First, it's a 22 watt laser. Now the extra two watts might not make that big of a difference, but a lot of the competitors are only the 20 watts, so extra 10% in power, especially when dealing with a dial laser, is always a good thing. Another thing that kind of sets this apart from some of the other lasers is it comes with an integrated air assist. Now this looks very similar to other air assists that you can add on to other laser cutters, but the biggest difference is, I think they refer to it as an integrated, where it plugs in the machine. Now why is that important? Well, when you use software like Lightburn that can control the air assist from the actual software, you can control when this thing comes on or off. Most machines with add-on air assist, you're gonna add them on and you're just gonna have to flip the switch yourself. So it's always gonna be on or always gonna be off depending on if you manually flip the switch. So that's a huge pro is to be able to control that in the software side of things. Another huge plus of this machine is the speed that can actually cut and engrave. Going to that extra 22 watts compared to a lot of lasers that might be five or 10 watts, you're really gonna have that extra power to cut and engrave at faster speeds. Another exciting feature of this machine is as triple monitoring. It's gonna monitor your air, your fire, and your lens. All this is combined to make sure it's as safe as possible. So if there ever is a fire or anything like that, it's gonna shut down the machine immediately and you're not gonna have any issues with that. All right, going through the front of the machine, you're gonna have where your air assist plugs in. It also has a dial to adjust the airspeed on it. Another safety feature is you can actually have a key. If you don't want uh, people messing with this, you can turn it off, take the key with you, and no one can even uh, have it run. Another great feature is you're gonna have the stop, emergency stop. So it's just a button. If things are going wrong, it's so easy to just stop it right there with that emergency stop. Last key feature is it's got a micro SD port, so it doesn't have a display screen, so you can't just uh, go through files, but the micro SD port, if you put that in, you can run the latest file that you have on it to run. So uh, if you just kind of have a few micro SD cards, if you're doing a lot of the same projects over and over, you can pop it in. You don't have to mess with the computer, which is very nice. Another great feature is that it comes in the box with a honeycomb. So it's kind of a very necessary feature. Most times you have to buy it as an add-on for other laser cutters, but this one comes included. So you're all ready to cut right out of the box. All right, now that's all assembled, which is really easy to do. Let's move over to the software side of things, which we're gonna use Lightburn for this project. It does not come with software, so you're either gonna use Lightburn, which is a paid for uh, software, or I think there's another few free options, but the kind of industry standard is Lightburn. If you're getting a laser cutting, you're probably gonna have that anyway, so let's go over that. All right, we're gonna open up Lightburn here, and first thing I'm gonna do is go to Devices. Now, I already have this loaded up, but we'll try it again here. Let's go to Import. I have the memory card that they included. Going up to, uh, let me see, Software here, Lightburn. Um, I probably wanna go, I think that CH means China and the EN means English, so I probably should've clicked on the English one. I already have it loaded up, so there it is. Then I'm gonna just click OK and it's loaded. Now, I don't have uh, my laptop right now hooked up to the actual machine, so it's not really registering, but uh, when you do this, uh, you have to have it hooked up to the actual laser cutter. Now I'm gonna load up uh, the sample file they include as well. So I'm gonna import that from the included memory card they sent. So I'm gonna go to the sample, 22 watt here, engrave end cut. And then I'm gonna go to that light burn one as well. Click open and there's a the guy I'm gonna try there that they included.
All right, now let's finish engraving. We're just wrapping on the cup. And there's my first uh, test run there. <laughs> Turned out really well. And right, now once again, I'm gonna open up Lightburn and now I'm just gonna do a material test. Uh, go up to laser, material test. Just gonna keep those same settings and I'm just gonna hit start and I'm gonna run with it. All right, I'm about halfway through the test card here. This is engraving and these test cards really help so you can see what speed and what power you wanna go for what result you're looking for. Test card is all done and here's what got cut out for me. All right, now that we've done a few sample projects, I think we'll do like a real world situation. Uh, for myself, I have a mower, I need a little keychain for that mower, so I think that'd be kind of fun, simple project to start with. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the Noun Project website. This is a great website where you can find free files. And just type in zero turn, that's the type of mower I have, found a zero turn file, and then I'm gonna get the download. All right, once I have the download, I'm going to just start uh, making a just a basic circle, I guess, for the keychain. I'll do uh, one 1.75 inches. Oops, try to get to 1.75 on that. Then I'll also make just a smaller little circle here. Oh, not a little smaller than that. Yeah, maybe a quarter inch uh, where the actual metal part of the keychain will go. going to drag that down, kind of center it up there. This isn't too uh, precise here, it's just going to kind of be a vague reference. Alright, I'm going to want these lines to be cut lines too, so I'll actually engrave the mower part, but the circle parts are just going to be cut lines. So this file kind of came with some lettering. I don't want it. So I'm going to just ungroup the file so I can delete that bottom part. All right, I'm going to drag the mower icon. And yeah, I'm going to engrave this. I'm going to set my engrave settings here quick. I think I'll do like 8,000 at 60%. Try that. Just going to center it up there as well. Kind of just looks good. Yeah, center that up. And there are better ways to center this than I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it quick for the video here. Group that all together and then I am going to be able to cut this. All right, now I'm going to load up my material. It comes with this little spacer block. This is how you set your laser height for the different type of materials. So I'm just going to set it uh, for my quarter inch material here. And it's ready to go. All right, so here's my little mower keychain. As you can see, it turned out pretty cool, I think. Uh, so this is what's fun about these laser cutters. Now there's a few different options you can go with. Some people are buying these to start businesses and sell stuff, which is great. It's definitely capable of doing that. But it's also just capable of making little fun projects like this as well. All right, so that's just a few examples of what this Creality Falcon 2 laser cutter can do. I also wanted to mention that my kit didn't include uh, set for a tumbler so you can hook up and do tumblers on this uh, as well as a honeycomb now make sure when you're buying this that you make sure that this stuff is included i think they offer a few different packages so even if you're getting the falcon 2 
Um, you just want to make sure exactly what's included in that box. All right, so if you have any questions on this, please leave them in that comment section below. I'll provide links in the description as well. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.